Hey y'all, I'm a shower mom. <laughs> I, I can't see. Sorry about that. It's so dark in my room. It's like, oh my god. Um, I just took a shower. I feel better. Um, like this. What is it? This diet I was on. I was on like a um, uh, what's that called? Naked juice. Yeah, I was on a naked juice diet, and I just wanted to give you guys some more tips because I bought this California uh, pizza and it was made out of like cauliflower. So like all the walking I did yesterday and I just took my dog for a walk and I was like sweating a little. I, what I do is I run her around in a circle and it gives me like exercise too. I wanted to go to the gym today, but I don't know. They're, they're talking about the weather getting really cold and I, I do need to get to the gym. I got to pay my gym membership, but I just found some lift rides on my um, credit card, $40 worth of lift rides. So I was like, cool. But I might want to save it for when it's really cold and I need to ride home from work or something if I have to work a graveyard shift. So I'm supposed to be picking up my work outfit. We're going to have a tie and I'm going to wear a white shirt. I've done the conventions before, but I think I never wore a white shirt. I think it was a blue shirt because like this is like the big CES show, so we're getting ready for that. Um, so yeah, it's going to be like a lot of hours available, but, um, I don't know. I'm trying to get my payback on as soon as possible before the show. And then I could do the show and then I could just, cause the show's only going to last a little while. And then I won't have to worry about it cause they know it's just a temporary gig. You know, I told them like, even if I get to do a show, it's going to be a short show. It's going to be like, you know, like a couple weeks or whatever, three weeks, but I have to guard all the equipment while they're setting up so I'll, I've, I've done that before like it'll be like in the middle of the night or I don't get off till like midnight but this time they said graveyard so I might want to save my lift rides it's like I don't know what to do I gotta pay my gym membership too so I could start working out again I need to sit in the jacuzzi everybody's stressing me out okay guys the rant. <laughs> this is the Michelle Zaldivar rant. I got some jewelry at the party. It was fun. I had so much. I got like, oh, man, hold on. I got like a big bag of jewelry for my kids. Like they gave me these earrings, and um, I got this, these little bracelets. They and I think they have a cross on them. Yeah, and this has a cross. What is it? Oh, here. That can you see it? Wait. This has a cross. It's like a, it's like a, a bracelet and it has a cross. So I am being blessed by God. He does give me jewelry. That's one thing God does. Like when I give my life back to him, it's so weird. Like I'll end up with like really pretty jewelry somehow. I just like, he does. He like, God is so good to me. Like I love God. I love Jesus. He's amazing. I know I'm going through a rough time, but there's a reason for it, you know, and maybe just, to encourage others that no matter what you go through just to stay positive because like I don't have hardly any money I had to borrow money from my brother just to pay my gym membership and I had this free gym membership but me and my trainer got into falling out and I had a free gym membership at at um, Planet Fitness but when I when I was having some pain aches and pains I, I added this black card and it just kept adding up but they dropped it down for me they dropped it down to $79 and I can get a free gym membership at Anytime Fitness, but it's like, I don't know. And Anytime Fitness is right here on Durango. I just have to walk up the street and take the Durango bus, and I can I can go and get my uh, free Anytime Fitness uh, membership. But it's just like, I don't know. I've just been having so many. I, I just don't like the bus. The bus depresses me, and I don't like walking. Like, I like exercising. I like jogging, but I don't like walking everywhere. I literally hate walking, but I walk her because she needs to walk because she has pent up energy. But I just don't like walking and walking and walking, and it's like it's tedious. Like I don't like it. Um, maybe because my grandma used to walk us a lot when we were kids, and it's like I hate it now. No, <laughs> she's like, you're gonna walk like six, seven blocks today, and it's like no way. <laughs> I mean, we were like in shape when we were little. <laughs> my grandma used to walk us for blocks and blocks. She's like this is good for you. And we would like walk and walk and walk. <laughs> That's probably why I don't like walking. It's like when you're a little kid, you're just like, wait a minute, I don't want to walk five or six blocks. Like what the heck? 
Yeah, so just wanted to give you some positive energy that, uh, and I'm losing the weight. I had like a double chin, like from hell, like it's still kind of there a little bit right here. It'll go away. I, I gain weight and then I lose weight. So that's why I don't even care. When I gain weight, I don't care because I know it's going to drop down because I'm really like outgoing and I do, I do know how to eat right. It's just, I wasn't eating right for a, a while there with all the chaos in my house and I can't eat right here because there's bad roommates again and they like to I took all the dishes away so there's not a lot of mess because there's no dishes the pots and the pans I'll do because I have to cook with them but um yeah and then they burned up the oven I don't know if you saw my cooking is fun video but they burned up the oven they had uh what was it um it was what was that stuff um, melting wax or whatever the fuck it was you know it was uh, melting plastic and that's toxic and it's like and then when I baked my pizza all those toxic fumes are going into my food and it's like really <sighs> I can't believe this like it's just a nightmare so I'm drinking lots of water I got my water here and I hate water I barely drink water because I hate it I have to put those flavored waters in, me and my roommate Mario. We like the flavored water and we would put the flavor packages in. And it's like, cause you know, water doesn't taste good to me. I hate water. Um, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, just, I feel better now that I took a shower. I, I'll probably like take a nap and just sleep all day. <laughs> I was like, shoot, who would want that schedule, huh? <laughs> but I mean, I can't really afford it right now, but because I, I've got to be on my A game. Like I should go to my school and get, you know, food because they give food at my school and they give, I got to go get a new bus card because my bus card hasn't been scanning, but I have to get a new one because mine expires on the 31st. So I don't even know if there's anybody at the school right now. We might be on school break. So yeah, it's just chaos. I, I realized how damaged I was educational wise. I mean, I'm gonna go back to school. I'm going to University of Phoenix to do criminal justice, but um, I gotta find out where the they have um, a, they have a they have a University of Phoenix here where I could do my homework and stuff, and I could study there. So I just have to enroll and see what's going on and. Um, I'm on a loan forgiveness thing and I only took one loan out for 1700 so it's not that bad but um, I was trying to get the school to um, reimburse that so I could fix my car it's like shh, they're just greedy everybody's greedy for money so it is what it is um, but yeah just like share and subscribe um, get those diet tips I gave you like you could go on a naked juice diet if you don't have a juicer at home it's the next best thing is drinking fruits and vegetables in, in your drink um, and my son got me the big giant ones and I took two big giant ones for two days um, I was drinking them like well it took me a couple days to drink one and then a couple days to drink the other but it really helps your digestion system um, when you're eating fruits and vegetables and then um, the cauliflower pizza that I got um, that's made out of cauliflower so it's it's vegetable based um, so you know and just try to stay like working out as much as you can. I could work out at home. I know how to work out. I just, I, my, my weight training teacher in California, we used to jog. That's why I like jogging. We used to jog like two miles. No, we used to jog like about, I don't know, how, like at least one mile. It was like two times around this big old giant field in the track. And we would just do that like um, every couple of days. And then he was really working us out. And then uh, we had, um, I had those little, we, we get the little sticks. He would give us a stick and you just go up and down with your stick. And then you go, you twist. You could get like a broomstick and do it. You could just go like this sideways and then you twist that way too. He gave me a lot of good tips when I was um, training in high school. I had weight training, we used to wrestle. We used to do all kinds of stuff. And the most I've ever bench pressed was 95. And I could barely do like, 65 right now so I'm like I'm out of shape you know just like from the car accident and um, a lot of my anxiety and stuff because I was working out heavily before they took my kids and then I got depressed I didn't want to work out so a lot of that is you know emotional distress that they caused me so and they will be sued someday I just just got to get it together 
I got to get enough money and start stacking it in the bank for the lawsuit, you know. But, um, okay, well, um, like, share, and subscribe, those health tips, and um, stay focused on God. He blesses you. Look at these pretty earrings he gave me. Straight out of heaven. <laughs> and my necklace, and my necklace from Christian, my best friend, my bestie best. We never stay mad at each other. We're just good friends, you know. It's like it's good to have people that forgive you, and if you piss them off or whatever, and then they forgive you. But some people are like grudge holders or haters, and they just like they're just really not. I don't know if they're capable of loving or being nice or forgiving or just having a heart to not do messed up stuff to other people. But that's that's what it talks about in the last and evil days. It says in the last and evil days, people's hearts will wax cold. So remember that and say a prayer every time you go out, every time you get in your car. There's people driving around high and drunk and they don't care about who they hurt or injure. So just stay blessed and um, have a happy holiday season. Um, like, share, and subscribe, Michelle Ramon. Thank you, Jesus, for these people and watch over them and their families. Uh, we're all going through a lot of stuff in Jesus' name. Please watch over us in Jesus' name and whoever watches this. And I love you all in Jesus' name. Amen.